Meanwhile, a Milwaukee police investigation earlier today at a local high school after there was a threat online. Our Sean Gallagher has that story. Things running smoothly at Pulaski High School today after police found that a threat was not credible. Things didn't slow down at Pulaski High School despite the two police squad cars outside of the school this morning. It didn't look like the school was ever on lockdown as students went in and out freely, including freshman Christopher Gonzalez, who left early because he was nervous. I kind of feel felt a little worried, like, man, I'm going to be a part of a school shooting. I don't want to be a part of that. He had to call his mom from a classroom phone to get home. Can I call my mom because I'm afraid for my life? and I'd like to notify my mom of what's happening. On that phone call from her son, it was the first time Deborah Gonzalez heard of the threat. MPS says they notified parents this morning, though the threat was discovered last night. Come to the school, they say that this happened yesterday. I'm wondering why we weren't notified if this took place yesterday. Would you have kept your son out today had you known last night? Yes, he would have definitely not come home, uh, come to school today. Definitely. Deborah says for her son's safety, she'll keep him out of school until she gets answers. I want to know what's going on. These are things we don't take lightly. And since this threat was not found to be credible, MPS says that afternoon activities are on his schedule. In Milwaukee, Sean Gallagher, today's TMJ4. Well, now to the latest.